Hey there. So we have come really far with our challenge application. We have built out quite a few endpoints and we have few endpoints still remaining. So in this video, we are going to cover the remaining endpoints and we are going to see them execute in Postman. So are you ready for this? Let's get started. Also, I would like to mention that if you have not subscribed to this channel, I would request you to do so, so that you can stay updated with the next videos in this particular series. This series has quite a few video that will be coming up. So I would also request you to press the bell icon and to put on the notifications so that you can be notified whenever I launch a new video. And if you are not aware of the previous videos that we have uploaded, so I would request you to check the video description or to check out my channel for the remaining videos that I have published around this particular project. So this particular series involves building the entire challenge application using Java Spring Boot framework from scratch. So without further ado, let's begin the action. Hey there, welcome back. So far, what we have done is we have worked on the two get request and we have also worked on the post request. So post is used to create the challenge and get is used to get the challenge. So we can get all the challenges or get a challenge by a specific month. Now let's work upon the put and the delete request. So put will be responsible for updating the challenge and delete will be responsible for deleting a particular challenge. So let us head over to our ID now here, I'm going to switch over to my controller and we are going to have the controller definition. So here, I'll just press enter and I'll start defining a new method. So I'll say public and we'll pass in the response entity here and I'll say string and I'll say update challenge here, okay? Now here, we need an ID. So this ID will define which challenge we are updating and we will also need the challenge object. Okay, so I'm going to say challenge and I'll say updated challenge, like so. Now, what we need to do is we need to call the challenge service class and we need to say update challenge. So I'll say update challenge. So we have not created this method or defined it yet. We will do shortly, okay. But for now, I'm just using this method and based on how we are using, we'll be creating the method inside the service class. So what I'm going to say is, I'm going to say update challenge. We'll pass in the ID as well as the updated challenge object. Now from this particular method, I need Boolean. So Boolean response, which tells me whether this challenge is successfully updated or not. So I'll say is challenge updated like so. And now based on this particular response that we are getting, I'm going to return the response to the API. Okay. So for now, I can just say return new, I'll say response entity, or I can just copy this from here. Okay. So, or not this one. So we can copy from this one like so, because it's a string response over here and that is what we need. So I'll just paste it over here. I'll say is challenge updated. And if it's updated, it will say challenge updated successfully. And if it's not, challenge is not updated successfully. Okay. So we are done writing the response over here. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to create this method. So I'll hover on this and I'll say create method update challenge. Now this has created the method over here. Okay. Now here in this particular method, we are going to use all these parameters to update the challenge in the list. Okay. So I'm going to update the challenge now, but to update the challenge, I need to get the challenge first with this particular ID. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a for loop. Okay. So I can just take this for loop from here like so. So from challenge, challenges, okay, I'll get ID over here and I'll compare this with, so I'll say equals and I'll compare this with this particular ID over here, 
okay and here i'm going to say challenge dot i'll say set set month and here i'll say updated challenge dot get month okay then i'll say challenge dot so we need to do this for all the parameters so i can say challenge dot description and i need to get the description so we need to update the month and the description both for the challenge object okay so since we are iterating using the for loop we have the current challenge object in this particular object over here and i'm replacing the values here okay and this values are being replaced only if the id matches okay and we are getting the id from the controller here now once this is done i'll return true over here and if the loop exits i say return false like so all right so this is the update challenge method all right now what we can do is we can simply run this particular app and let us test the output in the postman so the application is running now in the postman what i'm going to do is i'm going to head over to the post request and here i'm simply going to copy this or we can simply modify this request as well so i'll say put i'll keep the endpoint same and here i'll remove the id okay but one thing that we have missed over here so here if you come I have not mapped this particular thing to a URL, so I press, I missed this, okay. So I need to say put mapping over here, okay. So since we have get mapping defined here, we have post mapping also. We have something called as put mapping and you can see over here. So you can keep the URL same, so I'll say slash challenges, okay. And here we need to tell the controller from where we are getting these two parameters okay so long we are getting from path variable and this particular thing we are getting from request body okay now path variable over here is this particular path variable so id comes as a part of the url okay now if you rerun this so let us rerun and let us switch over to our postman so our app is running now now here in postman i have the request ready okay so i have slash challenges slash i'll say one okay and i'll try and update this but if let me check whether we have any challenges okay so i'll try getting all the challenges okay we don't have challenges so we need to create a challenge first so i'll create a challenge first for the month of february and i'll say save now let us get the challenges so we have the challenge now created which is of id one now what we can do is we can update the challenge okay so i can say put challenge one here and i'm going to like send this update so i'll say february here and i can say update it in the end like so create a new app updated like so and i'll hit the send request the challenge is updated now if you try and get the response you will see that the data is updated okay now if i try and update against an id which does not exist you will get 404 not found and the message is challenge not updated successfully okay so you can modify the message if you want, but this is how the update query works, okay? So this is about update now. So we are done with the put request. Now let us start talking about the delete request that we wish to do. Now with the delete request, you will be accepting the parameter or the ID as a part of the URL, and we'll be deleting that particular challenge from our application. So in order to do that, we will head over to the controller and here I'll start defining the delete method. So I'm going to say public response entity and I'll have the string as the response type and I'll say delete challenge like so. And here I'll say long ID. Now I'm going to have a mapping created for this and I'll say 
delete mapping over here. This is the annotation. And here I'm going to just mention the same parameter or the same URL. So we have one URL, like the same URL being mapped to different functions, which is like put, delete, post, sorry, not post, post and get have same URL, but put and delete have similar URLs. And here I'm going to say, call this as path variable. So this method is getting this from the path variable. We need to specify that. And now I'm going to start writing the code. So I'm going to say challenge service dot delete challenge. And I'm going to pass in the ID. And I'm going to accept a Boolean return from here. So I'll say is challenge deleted like so. And I'm going to say, I'm going to have a similar if else condition over here. So I'm going to say is challenge deleted, challenge deleted successfully, or challenge not deleted, like so. Okay, so this is our delete function. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a method in the service. Now here, what we can do is we can say challenges dot remove if okay and i'm going to say challenge like so and challenge dot get id dot equals and i'm going to pass in the id over here now this particular piece of code is a lambda expression that we are using over here so we are saying from the list challenges remove if now this is a method that is available in the list interface so since this is a list over here we are making use of this method remove if okay now within this method we are passing in this expression where challenge represents an individual element of challenges list okay and what we are doing is we are comparing this okay so this is a condition to evaluate each element in the list okay and we are checking if this particular object's ID is equal to the ID which we have received over here. Okay, and if there is a match, it's being removed because the method says remove if. So if this is true, we remove that element. And here we need to return the response of this particular method over here. Okay, so, so overall the meaning of this code is to remove the elements from the challenge list that have an ID matching the given id and if the element is found with the matching id the remove if method will remove it from the list and it also returns true if there is no element with the matching id this entire expression or this entire method call returns false okay so this does the job that we need it to do and i'm going to rerun our application so let us rerun and let us see what the output looks like. So the application is running. Now here, let us create a challenge first. So I'll get the challenge created and let us check what challenge is created. So it's a February challenge. Now we can have a delete request, okay? So here, instead of put, I'll change this to delete. I don't need body here, okay? And I'll say delete challenge number two. So two challenge we don't have. So if I fire this request, you will get challenge not deleted, 404 not found, which is of course a challenge which this ID does not exist. So I'm going to say challenges one. And if I trigger this, you see that the challenge is now deleted. And now if you try to get all the challenges, you are not going to get anything. So this is how you can work with the delete request. Now here in the controller, if you come over, so this is our controller, we have different mappings defined, like we have def delete mapping, put mapping, get mapping, and post mapping, okay? Now we can even make use of the request mapping annotation. So here at the top, I can say request mapping, like so. So this is the annotation that is used in Spring to map a web request to a specific controller, okay? Now, what we can do is we have repeated patterns in all our URLs. So we have slash challenges 
that is repeating across the entire design okay over here so what I can do is I can take this part and I can add it over here okay so now what we can do is we can just do away with this so we don't need to specify challenges in our URL okay because we are not specifying it at the class level okay so we can get this removed like so. so I'm removing it from all the URLs and now our URLs look much more cleaner okay so here what we are saying is we are saying at the class level if there is any request that is coming to this particular endpoint so our domain name slash challenges it should be routed to this particular controller here okay and this is the root URL of this particular controller so you have all the URLs defined within so you have like slash month okay which will be slash challenges slash month so that is taken care of by spring MVC framework okay so if you rerun the application so let me rerun this so we'll rerun and we'll wait for its deployment and now here if you come to the postman and now if I try to trigger this URL this URL will still work as it is okay so you can post a new challenge it will get added you can get the challenge now it will work fine so with the help of request mapping what you can do is you can make your like methods a bit clean okay so instead of specifying all the repeated patterns in the URL you can just specify them at the class level okay so whenever you specify this at the class level it just sets the base URL for all the handler methods within that particular class so it's it's really really helpful out there and uh, so yeah this is about request mapping is what I wanted to tell you so we have completed all the functionalities that we discussed okay so everything that we needed to store and work with challenges is now done so what you can do now is you can feel free to update and add more endpoints or functionalities to practice and learn more about Spring Boot